Did you know that nearly 40 million people are living with HIV worldwide, yet, over 50% of them still believe at least one major myth about the disease? Despite decades of research and awareness campaigns, myths and misinformation continue to fuel fear, stigma, and dangerous choices. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most misunderstood health topics, HIV and AIDS. Too many people still think HIV is a death sentence. Others believe it can be transmitted through casual contact. These myths don't just create confusion, they put lives at risk. In this video, we're breaking down the most damaging myths about HIV and replacing them with cold, hard facts, so you and your loved ones can live safer, more informed lives. The Danger of Misinformation The real danger of HIV today isn't just the virus, it's the misinformation that surrounds it. Myths like HIV only affects certain groups or you can catch it from a toilet seat create barriers to testing, treatment, and understanding. People delay getting tested. They're afraid to seek help. And worst of all, many suffer in silence. Stigma kills. It prevents people from living full, healthy lives, even when treatments are available. Busting the biggest myths about HIV slash AIDS. Let's rewind a bit to a time when fear and misinformation ruled the conversation around HIV and AIDS. Back then, whispers turned into rumors, and rumors turned into myths that still linger today. But now, it's time to shine a light on the facts and rewrite the narrative once and for all. Let's bust these myths together. Myth number one, HIV and AIDS are the same thing. You've probably heard someone use these terms interchangeably, but that's like calling a match and a wildfire the same thing. Fact, HIV is the virus, the human immunodeficiency virus. It attacks the immune system. AIDS, or acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, is the condition that can develop if HIV goes untreated over time. Here's the game changer. With modern antiretroviral therapy, many people with HIV never develop AIDS. That's right, early treatment can keep the virus in check and prevent it from progressing. This isn't the 1980s anymore. Science has changed the game. Myth number two, you can get HIV from kissing or hugging. Let's set the record straight. Human connection doesn't spread HIV. Fact, the virus cannot be transmitted through casual contact, not through kissing, hugging, sharing food, or even sitting on the same toilet seat. HIV spreads through specific bodily fluids, blood, semen, vaginal fluids, breast milk, not saliva or sweat. So go ahead, hug your loved ones. Support, compassion, and connection are not dangerous. Ignorance is. Myth number three, only certain people get HIV. This one is rooted in dangerous stereotypes, and it's one of the most harmful myths out there. Fact, HIV doesn't care who you are. It doesn't target a type. It can affect anyone, regardless of gender, sexuality, race, age, or background. The truth? It's not about who you are. It's about what you do, and whether you take steps to protect yourself. It's time we stop blaming identities and start focusing on awareness and prevention for everyone. Myth number four, there's no hope after diagnosis. Decades ago, a diagnosis felt like a death sentence. But not anymore. Fact, today, thanks to powerful medications and improved healthcare, people with HIV can live just as long, and as fully, as anyone else. With early testing and the right treatment, HIV becomes a manageable condition. People with HIV can work, love, raise families, travel, and thrive. Hope isn't just alive, it's stronger than ever. Myth number five, you'll know if someone has HIV. This myth feeds fear and false assumptions. Let's cut it down. Fact, HIV often has no noticeable symptoms for years. That's what makes regular testing so crucial. You can't see HIV, you have to test for it. Thankfully, testing today is quick, simple, and confidential. Knowing your status empowers you. It protects you and your partners. There's no shame in being informed. Carlos's story, From Fear to Freedom. Let me introduce you to Carlos, a 29-year-old graphic designer with a big laugh and an even bigger heart. Two years ago, his world shifted when he received the news, he was HIV positive. Carlos sat in the clinic, numb. Thoughts raced. Is my life over? Will people treat me differently? Am I going to get sick? For a while, he withdrew, isolated by fear and haunted by myths he had heard his whole life. But then something powerful happened. He met a counselor who told him something simple, yet life-changing, this doesn't define you, and you're not alone. Carlos began antiretroviral therapy. 
He joined a support group, not full of pity, but full of strength. People just like him, living full lives. He started learning. And the more he learned, the less afraid he became. Today, Carlos is thriving. He's healthy, working a job he loves, in a supportive relationship, and even volunteering to educate others. The same guy who once thought his future ended at diagnosis is now helping others begin theirs. So what changed? Knowledge replaced fear. Support replaced shame. And treatment gave him control. Carlos's story is one of thousands, proof that HIV is not the end. It's a turning point. One that, with the right information and care, can lead to a full, vibrant, empowered life. What we've learned today. Let's take a moment to reflect. HIV is not a death sentence, it's a manageable condition when caught early and treated properly. You can't get HIV from a hug, a handshake, or sharing a meal. The real danger? Not the virus itself, but the myths that surround it. We've seen how misinformation fuels fear. But knowledge? Knowledge gives us power. The power to protect ourselves. The power to support others. The power to stop stigma in its tracks. Testing is key, simple, accessible, and life-changing. Whether it's for you or someone you care about, knowing your status is a courageous, empowering act. At the heart of it all is education. When we share facts, we build bridges. When we speak up, we make space for truth. And when we learn together, we heal together. So let's talk. Let's test. Let's teach. And let's stand together, for health, for dignity, and for each other. Have you or someone you know faced stigma related to HIV? Drop your thoughts and stories in the comments. Like this video if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe for more powerful health facts, and check out our next video on how to boost your immunity naturally.